In this video, I am going to discuss about internuclear ophthalmoplegia, which is also known as medial longitudinal fascicular syndrome. Now, let us see what happens in internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Consider this example. Suppose the patient is having lesion in left medial longitudinal fasciculus and he tries to loop on right side. There will be nystagmus of on the right side. That is, there is a nystagmus of abducting eye and there will be paralysis of adducting eye that is left eye. The mechanism for nystagmus of abducting eye is unclear but it is most likely due to visual error signal to overcome the adducting weakness of fellow eye and the paralysis of adducting eye is most likely due to disruption of signals carried in MLF from abducens nucleus to the oculomotor nucleus. Now look at this diagram. This is topographic uh, location of third nerve nucleus and this is topographic location of sixth nerve nucleus at the lower pons and this is location of medial longitudinal fasciculus. Now the MLF is divided into anterior part which is located in midbrain and posterior part which is located in the pons. Hence the INO is also divided into anterior INO and posterior INO. In anterior INO, the lesion is in the midbrain and convergence is involved and in posterior INO, the lesion is in the pons and convergence is paired. Thank you.